Hi everyone, this is me, a writer tech, consultant, audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in my latest video using the Waxscape. And here we have a patient with bilateral fully occluding earwax and I'm commencing with this their left ear first. So it's quite a dense plug of wax they have here and it's extending right from the entrance of the ear canal all the way to their eardrum. And currently we're just working beyond their first bend, which is about a half a centimetre into the ear canal. And we know that because we can see some hairs protruding from the right hand side. And that's um, quite commonly found on the first bend. Now, the plug of wax at this stage was just too dense. The surface wasn't um, soft enough for me to use the suction probe. So I'm just inserting the right angled ear hook in. And although I penetrated it into the core of the wax, it's, in the core it's quite crumbly. So instead of extracting it in one piece, it just dissected it, which is not a problem because that can still facilitate the removal. You're breaking down this plug of wax into smaller pieces, segments, so you can, it still does help the procedure, even if it doesn't remove the wax in one singular piece. Now I'm using the right angle correct, and I'm just inserting it posteriorly. So this is the back part of the ear canal. And I'm just getting some leverage. And surrounding this plug of wax is a, a layer of thick skin. It's enveloped around it. You can just see it there. So I managed to remove some of that with the correct. We'll just remove that section there. So we're just going to re-enter. Now I'm using our medium size specular, which has got an internal diameter of 4.25, but we do have a smaller one as well for pediatric or stenotic ears, which is a 3.5 millimeter specular. And we've got two larger ones. We've got a 5 millimeter and a 5.75. So I've managed to remove the wax laterally. Now I think I'm going to use the angle correct. Yes, there's an opening at the top. So I'm just gliding the correct over and beyond but you can now begin to see that this plug is extending all the way into the deeper regions of the ear canal so i'm just slowly bringing this forward it's a bit soft at this section so it's breaking up into smaller bits and it's also when it's soft sometimes when you're using a correct you can almost spread it like butter against the canal wall which we want to avoid so i'm just going to go a bit deeper you can see there's an opening there I'm just going to leverage in and behind. See so if it was a bit firmer when I start to leverage it, it would have start to bring the whole piece out. But instead, it just sliced a section away. So I think I'm possibly going to go back to suction here just to lift it off the canal because I feel it felt as though during the procedure I was compressing it and spreading it against the floor of the ear canal. So I just want to mobilize this section. And you can see a bit more keratin on the floor of the canal and that aspect of the plug. You can see that keratin there, that white glossy piece of skin. Now it's it's more or less mobilized. I'm trying to wriggle this forwards and out now. So that's the first bend just to the right and the flesh you can just see to the left hand side is a second bend. So it's, it's, I'm just meandering it around that area so that area is where you uh, it's where the ear canal is at it's most bendy and twistiest and it also is narrowest so i'm just going to the top where i can get a bit more of a better suction grip and i'm just bringing it down and as i am i'm just moving the plug from right to left so we've just mitigated that region between the first and second bend and we call that an isthmus which is a, a narrowing and to the left, those hairs are actually from the tragus. So the tragus is the piece of triangular cartilage just in front of the entrance of the ear canal. So to the left, there's a bit of a blister there. So this plug was really adhered, which is probably why it was quite difficult to remove. But that will soon settle. So there's some vascularis of the, the blood vessels of the eardrum, but otherwise that ear looks really good. So just moving on to this patient's right ear now. I think this ear was a bit narrower. But once again, I'm just using our medium sized specular and I'm using the left hand side of the specular to push open the first bend. So when we push open the first bend from right to left, you're somewhat straightening the ear canal. And again, the surface of this plug is quite dry, but at the bottom, I think either I have or this patient used some drops prior. You can see there's a bit of drops at the bottom of the ear canal. So it's just trapped. I'm trying to bring this forwards, but it's trapped in that isthmus that I explained 
in the patient's left ear. So I'm just going with the right angled ear hook. Now I've managed to penetrate a bit similarly to their left ear. It's a bit crumbly at the core, so it's just dissected it. So if it's a bit firmer and less dry, when it's dry, it can get really crumbly. So if it had a bit of a bit more sebum or uh, cerumen, so it's just the oily sweat, it may have just held this a bit, a bit together, a bit more like fudge, and we could have extracted that. So I'm just trying to break it into little pieces. Again, I'm just going to dilate open the ear. I'm just going to use the correct again because it worked quite well in the other ear. And because of the tapered tip of the correct, I'm able to leverage that into the core of the plug and bring it forwards. But again, some parts of this plug is quite soft and I'm just a bit worried that I'm going to smear it against the floor of the ear canal. So I'm pretty sure in a moment I'm going to use the suction to lift this off the floor of the ear canal. But before I did, and I've got another sizable piece out there. So there's a lot more dry skin here. You can see those flakes that are really reflective. And the flakes are quite of dead skin are reflected because it's got a high keratin content. So keratin is a protein that's also found in our nails and hair. And it has several properties. It gives the outer layer of skin the most superficial layers, um, some strength and integrity because that's going to be exposed to the external world. It's also high, highly reflective, as I described, so it helps to reflect harmful UV sun rays. And it's hydrophobic, so it helps to repel all water. So we don't want this, this underlying skin to absorb too much moisture because then it can um, cause the skin to macerate. Um, so that's where the skin cells overhydrate with the water, they swell and they burst at the membranes and then it breaks down the outer epidermis layer of skin, which is a protective layer of skin. You can see I just used the suction air again just to lift it off the floor. I'm just going to go to the back part of the ear canal here. I'm just going to bring this down. So it's beginning to separate into smaller pieces now. Just giving it a little wriggle. So again, we're just in that region between the first and second bend. And what the wriggling motion does, not only does it help to squeeze the wax plug out, but if there's any skin adhesions around the periphery of the wax plug, it helps to separate it from the canal wall. So that's the patient's eardrum. I'm going to go back in in a minute. I'm just going to stretch the ear open because it's quite narrow this side. So I could have reverted to the smaller specular, but it's the end of the procedure. I'm able to widen the ear canal to visualise the whole eardrum. There's just a bit of skin on the floor, the base of the ear canal. So we're just going to get that in focus. I'm going to use the suction probe just to remove that out of the ear. And there we have it. So, well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Do take care. Keep well and speak soon. Bye.